Biden announced that regional hydrogen hub is in hope of sparking a clean energy revolution. President Joe Biden will announce the location of seven regional hydrogen hubs from the port of Philadelphia on Friday. CNN President Joe Biden on Friday announced the locations of seven regional hubs to manufacture hydrogen of fewer, fewer cleaner than fossil fuels like oil, gas, and coal, but one which can be derived from the renewable energy, nuclear power, or planet warming methane gas. Biden made the announcement alongside the Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm at the Siloga Siloga Marine Terminal in the port of Philadelphia, which will eventually use the hydrogen produced from renewable energy and nuclear power at the new Mid-Atlantic Hydrogen Hub, compromising part of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. Speaking in front of the port workers on Friday, Biden touted, touted touted the hydrogen hubs as a major part of his bidenomics plan to create new jobs and new industries. It's all part of my plan to make things in America, Biden said. He also said the hydrogen initiative would make the progress on his ambitious climate goals. I made it a goal for our country to get to net zero emissions from pollutant pollutant to no later than 2050, Biden said, adding that hydrogen is the important supplement for renewables like wind and solar, especially to power heavy industry, heavy duty trucks and shipping. That's where hydrogen comes in. Biden said that using hydrogen you can power industries like the production of steel and aluminum. It's going to end up ch- changing our transportation system. That lets us to get to this place without putting more carbon in the atmosphere. Seven region hubs will be awarded the funding <coughs> from a pot of $7 billion that was passed last year. <coughs> As part of the bipartisan infrastructure law. In addition to the Mid-Atlantic, the new hubs will include Appalachian Hub located across the West Virginia, Southeastern Ohio, and the Southwestern Pennsylvania. This hub will be the one largest in terms of production and pro- derive hydrogen from the region's methane gas. A California hub that will span the state and encompassing the port of Long Beach, Los Angeles, and Oakland. A Houston, Texas based hub that can eventually expand to include the part of the Louisiana, which will t- drive hydrogen from the methane gas and the renewable energy. A upper Midwest hub spanning Minnesota. North Dakota and South Dakota, which will drive hydrogen from the wind energy and will be used for agriculture and power. A second Midwest hub will span part of the Illinois, Indiana, and Southwest Michigan and will be derived mostly from nuclear power. And the Pacific Northwest hub will span part of the East Washington and Oregon as well as, as well as part of the Montana and will focus on hydrogen for freight and agriculture. The Biden administration officials said that they are still determined, determining exact locations for the hubs in each region. The Biden administration hubs these these hubs will spark the new U.S. industry that senior administration officials estimated could catalyze around $50 billion in public and private investment and create tens of thousands of jobs. I think of hydrogen as the ultimate energy carrier, 
a senior administration official told the reporters on the Thursday press call, which earned that nickname as the Swiss Army Knife of Clean Energy. A senior administration official estimated that together the seven hubs will eventually produce the seven, three million tons of hydrogen per year, a third of the total national goal DOE has set for one ten million tons of for ten million tons of hydrogen produced by two thousand thirty. In addition to economic impact the Biden administration is betting big on hydrogen for its climate goals. The senior administration officials said the fuel will be used to clean up sectors of the economy like heavy duty trucking and the industry, both of which are hard to win off fossil fuels. Biden's Environmental Protection Agency has also made hydrogen as the integral part of its proposed regulation to cut emissions from power plants, another huge possible fuel emitter in the U.S. economy. A senior administration official estimated the halved will halved would reduce the country's planet warming carbon dioxide pollution by roughly 25 million metric tons per year from and the use adding that is lawfully e equivalent to taking 5.5 million gasoline-powered cars off the road. The hub that they use the methane gas to generate the hydrogen will be outfitted with the carbon capture technology to reduce their carbon dioxide pollution, a senior administration officer said. The officer did not provide estimates for possible emissions of methane or more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide in the first two decades it's in the atmosphere. Pollution. Politicians across the aisle representing the new hub praised the announcement. We are big beneficia beneficiaries of it. California Governor Gavin Newsom said at the press event hundreds of thousands of jobs we estimate over 200,000 West Virginia Senate Joe McKean, a Democrat, and Shelley Moore, Captain, a Republican, also hailed the hubs, calling them a major economic boon for their state. Today is a major win for the ARCH2 team and for future economic development and energy production in West Virginia, Pino said in a statement. McKean, who was a strong advocate for the hydrogen hub in congressional negotiations, said in West Virginia will be the new epicenter of hydrogen in the United States of America. Still, some environmental groups criticized the announcement, saying it will lead to continued use of fossil fuels and extend the life of that industry. So-called blue hydrogen, which is derived from methane gas, is the invention of the oil and the gas industry, said Robert Howard, a professor of ecology and a faculty fellow at Cornell University. It is extremely disappointing to see Biden administration provide the funds for hydrogen hubs, which will be based on the fossil fuels, even with the carbon capture 